Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Drew, and I'm back today with another video. So, as I see you down below, we are here at the Nether Shade Hall. Y'all got in the swing of it by now. But today we are testing the waters with Shein and we are trying their shoes. Y'all, um, I don't necessarily know how this is gonna go, but I want to try, I want to give them a chance because the way that I see it is like, you know, I feel like a lot of shoe people just make all the same shoes but then just slap a logo onto it. That's just the way I see it. And at the end of the day, if you not gonna buy me no shoes, I don't think it matters what brand I'm getting shoes from to be, to be honest as long as they fit my feet and my feet not out here just crazy or I'm just walking on the bare ground I feel like I'm perfectly fine so we are trying these shoes like I said you just gotta know it don't matter what brand you're wearing for me personally but I know a lot of people do feel the same way about their brands if you like your brands get your brands but I will say um unless you finna buy me shoes I don't necessarily care what you think about what brand shoes I'm wearing. And that's how I feel like a lot of y'all should feel as well. Unless people buying or they gonna pay for it, it don't matter what you wearing. That's how I think about it. But we're just about to hop right into this. I got a lot of different types of shoes from heels to sandals to sneakers. So we just gonna get right into it. So the first shoes that I got actually came in this bag and it's just a clear sort of sandals. So these sandals are just like, you know, the clear jelly ones. It kind of takes you back to like when you were a little baby and your parents would have you wearing like little clear sort of sandals. But these were really cute. I will say that they are pretty thin. You can kind of see this way. And I'm not sure if you could tell in the video where I'm trying them on, but they are pretty thin. And for me personally, I feel like I don't usually have to buy wide shoes, but I feel like in this sense, I would need to because kind of on the front and the side, my foot was sort of like hanging off a little bit. So for these, I definitely don't think that I'll be wearing these shoes just like out casually, just because I have an arched foot. So wearing flat shoes and thin shoes just doesn't work out for me. It's gonna get really uncomfortable very fast. So for these, I feel like I'll either have to stick to wearing them at like the pool or the beach or just somewhere that's like a quick in and out sort of situation where it doesn't necessarily matter what shoes I'm wearing. But at least, like, you know, I like the little pearl detailing on it. I thought it was really cute. So I would definitely say you can get it, but just know that it is thin, for sure. And I didn't say this earlier, but all the shoes on Shein are in European sizing. They do sometimes have the US sizing as well, but for all the shoes that I got, I got them in a size European 40. There was only one shoe that I'll point out later that I got in a 41 because they didn't have it in 40. But all the shoes I got in a 40, so yeah. And these shoes fit like pretty okay. Like I feel like if it was anything smaller, my foot would be hanging over. If it was anything bigger, it would probably just be like a tad bit big. It was just like a just right fit. The next shoe that I got was also another sandal and it came in another sort of bag, but this one wasn't as frosted. And these ones I really do like. I like the vibe. It gives off very much summer vibe to me for sure. They came in a size 40, as you could tell. And these are just really cute. Like I have no complaints about it. The if I do, if I did have to complain about anything, I would say, like I said earlier, I do have an arch foot, so I know that these shoes will probably be an issue for me in like wearing it for a long, wearing it for a longer amount of time. But other than that, I think they're perfectly fine. They are pretty flat and right now they're like, they're just, they're, they're very stiff. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they're very stiff. So they're gonna have to be something that gets broken into, but I don't think that it should be that big of an issue because they are sandals. So it's not like you're trying to like run or you shouldn't be wearing these for like hours on end either. But I thought they would just be something that's really cute. You could slip on with like a dress, you could slip on just to like walk around any sort of cute pant top sort of situation. So I thought these were definitely cute and I would definitely suggest it as well. They fit pretty good. The next shoe that I got also came in the frosted bag sort of thing as well. And these are just some slides. Now let me, let me explain myself just a little bit. 
they're just regular size they kind of have like a little sort of feel to it but not that it's too too crazy the reason why i got these is not necessarily to just wear around the reason why i got these is because i tend to wear heels i mean since the pandemic i haven't worn heels that much but when i wear heels sometimes i do like the ability to be able to take off my heels throughout the day but i usually end up bringing like random flip flops or i'm wearing like my nike or adidas slide and honestly to be wearing a dress and putting on nike and adidas slides is just it's not it so definitely i got these because it gives you sort of the same vibe as you're wearing slides but it's sort of slides would make it cute slides would make it non-athletic sort of thing so i definitely like these once again a size 40 and um yeah i wouldn't necessarily suggest wearing these out too too much or like to the pool or anything because they are kind of made of a foamy type of material although the bottoms are plastic the sides are made out of a foamy material so i'm not sure how that would do with water or anything but i did think that these were like cute sort of kick off your heels put on something flat sort of vibe once again the size was perfectly fine for me with getting a 40. so yeah and the next shoe that i got came in this sort of packaging i'm not really sure why shein does different packaging or like what their reasoning is for doing certain packaging for different things but i definitely thought this was cute it has the shein name on it and it has like some warning stuff on the back and social media and stuff um but this one i also got in a size 40. and this one is kind of like kind of like a slide as well but like slide would make it cute so i would make it fancy so I got these because I don't necessarily tend to do much with color. Oh, I'm, I am that chain, but I don't tend to do much with color as far as shoes. I tend to stick with my blacks and my grays because with shoes, I don't want to mess my shoes up. And I want whatever shoe I buy, I want to be able to wear that with many different outfits. But because these were flip flops or sandals, I just wanted to test it out just a little bit and sort of see what do I like, sort of try to branch out from wearing the regular black and gray that I always wear. But these were definitely cute. Um, these are kind of like scrunchy material, so it's very soft. It's nothing too, too crazy on your feet and it will conform to your feet as well because it is stretchy, scrunchy sort of material. Um, I also got these in a European 40. Um, I do like them. My biggest concern for them would also be like, the, the bottom is sort of like foamy. I don't know if you could tell, but it is sort of like foamy, so I'm, the but the bottom, the actual bottom is plastic. So you'll be good with wearing it outside. But I am concerned for wearing this for a long amount of time or wearing these many different times and this possibly flattening. That is probably the biggest concern that I could probably see. But I don't know if that's just me just thinking too, too much about it. But other than that, I really do like these. I would definitely suggest them. And they're just really nice shoes since they like fit around your ankle as well so you don't have to worry about them falling off as compared to like some of the other sandals that I got. These are really nice shoes and it's like a nice little pop of color as well. Now the next shoe that I got was the first one that came in a box. This came in a black box. Um, Many of the boxes that you'll see that I have are sort of kind of like disformed because for some reason Shein just loves to push everything in a bag to ship it. So with like, as it went through shipping, I'm pretty sure the box got all sorts of like messed up, but the actual shoe is perfectly fine on the inside. This is the one shoe that I did get in a size 41 because they didn't have it in size 40. So these are some heels. So yes ma'am, yes ma'am, I did have to try some heels. Um, but the reason why I got this was actually not for just like, just play play casual wearing. I got this because I will be doing a lot of dancing this upcoming school year and I want I will have to put on a heels class so I wanted to get some more of like heels that are meant for dancing so this is why I got this it has a nice peep toe in the front and it also has nice ankle support as well as having a strap so you can get your foot in there nice and tight I will say because I did get it in a 41 it is just a tad bit big but I think I'm going to stick with it because I feel like since you can lace it up, it should be fine. It's served the purpose that I need as far as providing ankle support and it will allow my foot to do what it, whatever it needs to do while dancing. So I'm hoping that I'm picking the right size. The heel is a little high, I will say that, and this part is very flat. Um, but other than that, I feel like it should be fine. 
I probably will give y'all some updates on this one as well because it is a it is a little smooth right here as well so I might have to break these shoes in as well but other than that I think it's really good one thing that I will say if I could change anything about this shoe would be this front part I don't know if y'all can tell but the front part does not lace up so you can only lace up the actual part that's on your foot which kind of leaves a lot of awkward space up here if your foot if like your toes aren't that big so it's just weird. I don't know if that's gonna affect me while dancing in it, but I know that a lot of people do wear these for dancing if you're not trying to like spend the big money on the real dancing shoes. <laughs> so we're gonna see how these go, but I'm pretty excited for these for sure. Now the next shoes that I got also came in a box. Um, it says that I got these in a 41. Yeah, yeah, I thought I got them in a 40, but I guess I got them in a 41, I don't know. These are some heels. I've been looking for these heels for a long time because I'm starting to see the trend of them, but I haven't been able to like really find them in stores for real, for real. And I like Shein's return policy on things as well. So I decided to go with Shein. But I just got a nice clear heel. It's really cute. This sort of strap, it was a little confusing at first, but you sort of get it as you go through it. The strap just goes behind your ankle first and then goes in front of your ankle. Or I guess you say it goes behind your heel and then in front of your ankle, but it's really cute. I will say that according to the picture, I thought it was going to be a little bit of a higher heel, but I mean, I guess that isn't really something I should be complaining about because the shorter the heel, the easier it is, go the easier it will be to wear. And that's also probably just a user error with me just not looking at the actual sizing description and just seeing how tall the heel is. But other than that, I think it is really cute. It's nice. I mean, it's a pretty basic shoe. It's clear, so you can wear with everything. I will say that this bottom part is flat, so once again, it will become uncomfortable over time, or just, um, like if you're walking in an area that isn't as smooth or gravelly or rocky, you will feel that for sure. But other than that, I feel like they should be fine. It has a nice black heel, so they should be pretty comfortable. So I'm excited to try these out for sure. And um, the actual shoe does actually she in it in as well. Which I didn't show y'all. A lot of these shoes do say Shein on them. I should have showed y'all that, but yeah. Now this next shoe that I got also came in a box. The messed up box because Shein decided to put it in a bag. But this one I did get in a size European 40. And before we open these up, I'm going to put a picture of what I thought I was getting on the side of the screen. Now y'all tell me if I'm bugging or if I'm tripping, but according to the picture that I saw, I definitely thought that these shoes are going to be sort of like a nice gray or khaki or like taupe sort of material or cream. So that's what I was going for. You know, I want to step out, try something new. Um, y'all tell me what color this is. These are white. Um, and like, is it a huge deal? Not really, but I don't personally like to wear white shoes because I want to be able to wear shoes wherever without getting them dirty. So that is a big deal or a sort of deal for me. But I will say, even without that, I will say that these shoes, I got them in the same size as I got everything else, but these feel like they're half size too small. And the shoe does say that they are a 40 as well. It does say that it's a 40 on the bottom. So that was a little concerning to me. So I will be returning these just because of the fact that they're just a little too small for my feet. I My foot can fit into it, but it's not comfortable at all. Um, other than that, the tongue of the shoe does say fashion, 1818 sport, which is nothing too, too crazy for me. I mean, it doesn't really matter, shoes are shoes. But the one weird thing is the size is like B B B E A E N G Ohio com. Um, I don't. I'm not a fan of that. But once again, it's not a big deal to me. I don't think it's anything too too crazy. But yeah, they overall, I do think that the design and style of the shoe is pretty cute. But because it is white, that's kind of a deal breaker for me. Along with the fact that they're just too small for my feet for sure so i will be returning these but i will say if you are someone who does like to add a little bit of height to your outfit or anything like that these are definitely the shoe for it you can see like the soles are pretty thick so you're going to be adding on at least like a half to an inch to your height so if you are somebody who likes to appear a little bit taller these are the shoes for you for sure 
Then last but not least, the lashes that I got for y'all did come in a bag, but it's not in the bag because I did try them out today. I got these in a size 40, and these are just some black and gray sort of sneakers. You can kind of see on the bottom that I, I wore them today to work. I want to test them out for sure. Um, I will say that I like these shoes. Um, once again, they're size 40, which is why I was confused as to why those white shoes felt like they're a half size too small and these ones feel perfectly fine. So that's just, that's weird. It's, that's weird to me. But other than that, I will say I really like these shoes. They're very comfortable. Um, I didn't stand too, too much when I went to work today. So I didn't really, I couldn't really test the full comfortability of them, but I'm going to wear them again, just to really feel, get a good feel for them. If anything, I'm pretty sure that you just might have to add in an insole or anything like that to them. But other than that, they're nice and breathable. The one thing that I will say, it's not like a huge deal breaker or a con, is like the, the what do you call it? The laces are just a little hard to sort of like, pull in together you could kind of hear it just a little bit just because of the material of what's around it but other than that I mean like it's not that difficult um it does just say fashion on the tongue and I'm not really sure what this says on the back I was trying to read it out before but I I don't know if it's just another language or what. Y'all let me know. Y'all put me on. I'll probably look it up after I'm done making this video for sure. But I'm not really sure what that means at all. But once again, I don't too, too much care. The shoes feel perfectly fine. I love them. I loved walking around in, it, in them. And they're really cute. They give you sort of like a track, sort of like runner sort of vibe to them as well. And they're just nice. So I would definitely suggest getting these. If you don't get any other shoes in this haul, I would definitely suggest getting these sneakers. And I'm really excited to try out some other sneakers from Shein as well, especially after the good experience with these. So unfortunately, y'all, that is the end of this haul. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Shein shoes. Will you try them? Are you, are you gonna try to dibble and dabble? I would say at least start out with like a sandal or a slide cut or a slipper. Cause you could like, you can't really mess up with those. And then once you learn your sizing and your pants sizing, then I would sort of like go up to like the heels and the sneakers and all that sort of stuff. So I would definitely tell y'all to try it. I do want to let y'all know if you are going to be trying some shoes or just anything from Shein, I do have a little code to give to y'all. I am a Shein Campus Ambassador, so with that comes a code and a pro code for you all to use to save some coins on your purchases. So this code is actually not a coupon code. This does not go in the checkout or in your cart. This is something that actually goes on your account in your My Reference, and then you'll be able to use this on every order you make after that. So the code that you have to use is US3924AS. US3924AS. I'll put it in the description box below along with the link that's gonna be really easy to just click on and it does the same exact thing. Once you add this code, once you spend over $29, you'll be able to save $2 on every purchase that you make after that, along with being able to add on your points to save more money and other coupons to save more money and anything that you have in your Shein wallet, gift cards, all of that. So it's definitely something that I would definitely use and it lets you all save coins and I'm also able to receive a little bit of a kickback from it as well. So as you all support me, I'll be able to bring even more Shein hauls and other videos to you all as well. But if y'all want to see any more videos or any other Shein hauls from here on out, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell. Just stay tuned when the next video does come out. And remember to follow me on Instagram, my aunt Sylvie Drew, because of course I post on there way more often than I'm able to interact with y'all way more often because I'm on Instagram way more than I'm on YouTube. And remember that I love you all so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Drew, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!